Hi, I'm Alejandro Ojos, and today we're here at CES 2025 of the Amazing Booth here at Acer. And today with us we have Eric. Hey, Eric, how's it going? Doing all right, thank you. Thank you for having us. I see some beautiful laptops here. I think they're probably the latest ones. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about them? So these are the new Predator Helios 16 AI and 18 AI, as well as the new Predator Helios Neo 16S. Why don't we focus mm -hmm. first on these new 16 and 18 Helios AI? Awesome, sounds great. So first up, I want to point out that there is a difference, obviously, in the size. So we have right. a 16-inch versus an 18-inch panel. There's also another difference. On the 16, we're talking about an OLED panel. And over on this, on the 18, it's a mini LED which, with a variable refresh rate. So it can do 240 hertz or 144 hertz. Nice. Um, did that one also can reach like, those, those refresh the, rates? The OLED here will go 240 hertz. Nice. That's awesome. Now, additional things that everybody wants to know, what's the CPU? So this is up to a Core Ultra 9 Series mm -hmm. 2 Arrow Lake HX processor awesome. on both. Additionally, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of storage, and the 16 inch will have RTX 5070 Ti, whereas the Helios 18 AI will have RTX 5090. This can be configured to that higher end GPU, but we're starting at that uh, uh, more affordable price point. Oh, that's awesome because you can have like a really amazing machine and still, I mean, so you can take it with you yeah. to play it. So that's Absolutely. pretty cool. So we have a couple of things here on the table in front of us that I want to highlight. So first of all, uh, we have the Mag Key 4.0. These are user replaceable using magnets. Uh, switches on the WASD keys that are highlighted right here. We provide a couple of sets for the users so they can go in and change it. It's not a keycap. This mm -hmm. is actually a mechanical switch. Nice. And it gives the users the ability to customize their system and get a little different performance depending on the type of gameplay they have. Further, because this is brand new hardware and we want high performance, we've had to improve our cooling solution. So we have now the sixth generation Aeroblade 3D fan. We've done uh, some big improvements to this. Mm -hmm. All metal fan. Now we have 100 blades versus 89 in the past. And there's a little bit more movement to the fan, so it does a better job of keeping everything cool and stable, so you're getting rock solid performance. Nice. Also, so you have here some uh, heat pipes? Yeah, the heat pipes are a vital part of the cooling solution. And these are what we call vector heat pipes. They are rectangular and flat, so there's more surface area that touches the CPU and the GPU. So it draws away the heat, pushes it through the system, and vents it outside. So once again, more stable performance. No, that is great. And what about the IOs? What are the IO capabilities the systems have? This is really cool. Both of these systems support Thunderbolt 5 and PCIe Gen 5. That's awesome. That's one of the latest. Is Absolutely. But so as we're looking at this, it's a per-key RGB keyboard. Right now we just have it in a solid blue look. And the light on the front, this light bar, is adjustable as well by the user in the Predator Sense software. And then a small little touch that might be hard to pick up with all of our lights here. Um, the blue that you see on the C cover here yes. is also illuminated and can be controlled by the user in the system software. That's awesome. And I also see you have a camera here. Yeah, we have uh, a beautiful QHD camera, so uh, part of the whole AI experience, you're going to be able to do all the wonderful things you can with uh, uh, Copilot Plus that's, PC. That's awesome. And, okay, so here we have like two type A uh, ports, which is pretty handy, uh, you know, very important, especially for events like that, you have your, your lock. Make sure it stays safe. <laughs> yeah. You have uh, your power, you have HDMI output, you have your two Thunderbolt uh, output ports, which is awesome. And here are my best friends, RJ. So your RJ45 for full Ethernet. And you have your audio jack. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Uh, we love it. And you have some an, a full on SD card. Full SD. Yeah, you know, honestly, you, you shouldn't make a gaming system without RJ45. But wait, there's more. One last thing. Yeah. So you guys here have this back here, back panel, right? So this is an updated lighting effect uh, for this year's model as well. So it's just uh, a little enhanced, also controllable by the user in the Predator Sense software. That's awesome. I really like it. It's really, really clean look. Love it. All right, I'll bring it over here, put it over there. Uh, you want to talk about this guy over here? Yeah, so stepping kind of down in the hierarchy of our brands, the Predator Helios Neo is a little bit less, so it won't get quite the high-end uh, performance, but it's still uh, better than the, the sub-brands of Nitra. Right. What we're focusing on here with the Predator Helios 16S is slim. So this makes it a portable system. Uh, the cooling system goes from that new 6th gen to our older 5th gen, but we're focusing on a sleek design. So it's not a per-key RGB. It doesn't get the chassis lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just slim, sleek, powerful, but something you could take to school or to a meeting and not be worried that you're going to overbling 
the room. Right. So what's going on here, we do have Core Ultra 7 mm -hmm. HX processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, uh, and it is an OLED panel with a 165 hertz refresh. That's awesome. So unlike the larger Helios 16 mm -hmm. AI and 18 AI, this is uh, not a per key RGB and it does, right. not, does not get those mechanical changeable switches. But uh, comes in at a much more affordable price point at seventeen ninety nine. Yeah, that's really nice. That's still pretty pretty good price point. And I mean, like you said, for traveling yes. for us, trust me, my back will. I mean, my friend's back will thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here on this side, we have like the outputs uh, from the from the heat sinks. We have thank you so much again, RJ. Your audio jack. You have a microized microized yes. SD card. Your Type A. Along yeah. the back, the two Type C, the HDMI power. Beautiful. And then more Type A on the other side there. That's awesome. All the I.O. are gamer needs and more. Yes, and more. So, Eric, I heard that you have some other laptops we want to take a look at. So, why don't we just go check them out? Let's do it. All right, all right. So, we have here three nice laptops. So, tell us a little bit more about each one. Uh, let's start with that one. So, first up is the Swift Go 14. And imagine, if you will, Swift Go 16. So, a 16-inch version of this. We're right. just showing the 14-inch right now. Swift is part of our thin and light line. And the Go is kind of the starting position in that lineup. Right. Uh, the first product here has a 14 inch screen. It's 1920 by 1200 uh, resolution on the panel and it's IPS. There is an option to go to a 3K OLED, which is pretty nice. Oh. Uh, we are uh, launching this product with a Core Ultra 7 Series 2. This is Aero Lake, mm -hmm. 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. Of course, there will be configurations later with more memory up to 32 gigs and storage up to two terabytes as possible. Right. But that 14 inch will be at $899 and the 16 inch will be at $949. Now, this is not a Copilot Plus PC, but it is thin, it's light. We've slimmed the chassis down. It's about 0.3 millimeters thinner at the front and back. And we've enhanced the touchpad um, with a contextual media player. So mm -hmm. if you launch YouTube or you're listening to a podcast or whatever, the touchpad will glow with the controls that help with whatever you're doing. We've also now added uh, controls for doing Teams meetings uh, or audio calls like that. So that wasn't there before. That's absolutely That's new. awesome. Some quick buttons that we need to go yep. quickly on mute or on mute. Exactly. All right, over here we have the Aspire 14 AI. This is a Copilot Plus PC. This is due to the fact that it's running Lunar Lake processor. Our launch configuration will have the 14 inch screen, same 1920 by 1200 resolution. It is an IPS panel. Uh, this is also a Core Ultra 7, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage, and the price is going to be $799. Now, the Aspire line is kind of more of our mainstream product. So this is really a big deal because it's uh, following our ethos of eliminating barriers between people and technology. So right now we're bringing AI down to a more affordable price point. You said it was uh, around $799? Correct for a Lunar Lake or an Intel Core Ultra 200V series. Yes. That is great pricing for such an amazing. Well, laptop. and it, it's responsive and great battery life. This is going to be a powerful unit for somebody to have. But we didn't stop there. Although it is our kind of entry level mainstream product, we've mm -hmm. enhanced the chassis once again. So typically they're plastic. This time around, we're using aluminum on this area around the touchpad and the keyboard, as well as on the A cover here. That's beautiful. Uh, what about, let's talk about a little about the I.O. that you have here for, for those people who... So, we're going to have a combination of Thunderbolt 4 and a Type-C connector and mm -hmm. three USB 3.2 Gen 2. You're also going to have storage, which is PCIe Gen 4, so it's fast and responsive. We also include HDMI 2.1 to allow uh, the user to connect to a larger display to get work done, which is uh, a really cool thing. Last one but not least, what do we have? What do we have here? So what we're showing here is the Aspire Vero 16. Now, uh, for those that aren't familiar with, we launched Vero a couple of years ago, and this is our focus on sustainability. Mm -hmm. So the big change this year, and it's what helped us win the CES Innovation Award for this year, our chassis has gone from 65% post-consumer recycled to now 70%. Oh. In addition, we've added a new material, reclaimed oyster shells. They get brought together, cleaned, crushed, powderized, and put into the plastic. 
So much like we've di been discussing on these other systems, this is also a IPS panel with 1920 by 20 resolution. Uh, we can go up to a Core Ultra 7, but it's going to start with Core Ultra 5, 16 gigs of RAM, and 512 gigs of storage. This too will be at $799. Wow, those are those are great prices for all the configurations you guys have here. Here on the side, we have you know, like like you mentioned, we have the two Thunderbolt ports, we have your HDMI, we have your typical USB uh, Type A, and here we have yeah your audio jack and another Type A, and of course your lock. Got to be able to secure that. It's pretty light. I really like it. it I like the the look and feel. And yeah, the uh, design is a little bit different than uh, the other products to kind of highlight that this is a product that is sustainable. Most notably, I would say these keys, the R and the E, are backwards. That is not a mistake, it's on purpose. We're trying to highlight uh, our emphasis to reduce, reuse, and recycle. This is great. All right, thank you so much. We really yeah, appreciate course. it. Thank you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.